Hey everybody, it's good to see you all again. This segment is just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in this episode. So in this episode, there is a situation um, towards the end or anywhere in this episode, there is a blank. That means there's no sound coming in the episode. And you might think that is your fault. That is my fault. You can blame me, say it was my fault because that is editing problem and that's because of recording and the recording platform that I use. If that happens to be in the in the episode, if that's in it, um, what you need to do is to just disregard it. Don't worry about it. Consider it like an ad break. Consider it like a break. Consider it like we're taking a five minute break. Consider it like that. So no freaking out. No need to worry. Make sure you guys enjoy the episode. Enjoy what's in it. And y'all have a good one. And enjoy this one. Really enjoy it and have fun. And please disregard the blanks in there because other than breaks. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you guys for understanding and for your cooperation. What's up, y'all? I am back. I love doing this regularly. Today um, is actually a, a historic one for me also. Today I'm here with T-Bix and Mrs. Dean um, as a married couple duo. This is the first time ever on this show that I've ever had a married couple actually be here. This is the first one that I've ever done. So I'm honored to have you guys on with me. I'm so stoked. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. This is the first married couple to make an album together in hip hop history. It's the first married couple on your show. We done made history we twice. We make it history twice. Look at uh, us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's insane. That's insane. And it, and you think it's like where I've never done one, but I've actually never have done one. So it's insane that I, that I get to do you guys as the first one. You made a mark. For sure. That's awesome. We're excited. We're excited. Right, right. That is awesome. All right, since you guys made a historic mark, everybody should know. Everybody should get some clarity. Um, so would you mind you guys giving a little rundown about who y'all are, you know, the works? Go ahead. Okay, this is T Vix and Miss Dean. We the historic couple that first come out with an album together in hip hop history. First rap duo to do it. You know, it's been a rapper and a singer. It's been two singers before, but it's never been two rappers that was married to make an album together. We did that, and uh, we both uh, lyrical geniuses. We both got uh, uh, albums outside of each other, but this album right here, we came together to uh, uh, do this uh, historic album to celebrate our love for one another. We've been a married couple for 10 years, 12 years together. You know, hitting our single, same chick, 12 years later. So, that's, that's pretty much. And then also, you didn't even tell them. We also have a talk show. If you want to check it out, that's uh, where we're actually co-hosting. Uh, we talk about different crazy topics. Uh, we're on Facebook, so you can follow us and check that out, too. Uh, that's tapping with us on IG. And on Facebook, it's uh, tapping with T-Bix and Miss Dane. Oh my wow. god, wow. That is awesome. Look at y'all. Look at that. Thank you. I forgot to mention, since you threw that in, even even though uh tap in with T and Dean on Facebook, we is the host of the viral talk show that averaged over fifty thousand views a week. You know what I'm saying? So y'all check that out. We got shows uh standing over one point two million views. It's a great uh, topic show. We, we talk about all types of topics. We also do that. We also the owners of a Trillionaire clothing brand. Yes. Uh, and I could copy off some of that uh, at officialtrillionaire.com. Right. And, and if y'all want the music, if y'all want to get it directly from us, y'all can go to allinradio.com. That's A-L-L-N radio.com. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's pretty much, you know, we, what, what else? And just about the official trillionaire. You, um, you guys definitely want to check it out. It was also featured on Masterpiece Review Show, and it had rated a 9 out of a 10. Um, so he just loved the quality. He loved the brand and everything it stood for. So shouts out to Masterpiece. Yeah, and if y'all are wondering what the trade in their brand for, we 
believe all human life is priceless. There's never been a man walking the face of the earth worth a trillion dollars. So we decided to come with the trillion dollar brand to uh, encourage what people to encourage people to wear what they worth. So you know that's all people in all walks of life. Your life is priceless. Please wear what you worth. Get you some trillion there. <laughs> Oh, all right, one hundred percent. That could be an actually nice commercial thing, and then you you can set that on like, yeah, like, like what you just said. Yeah, yeah. We, we might, might just we it. might just made might it just on your it. show. We Let's store it. <laughs> first oh my god! Commercial on your show. Oh. This energy is. I, I'm liking this energy. This we got some good stuff going on here. <laughs> A lot of oh, historic yeah. marks. Oh my God, oh. oh, okay, sorry, I just gotta contain all this and keep it professional. <laughs> you know okay. what, we may have to send you some official trillionaire, so oh. that way, you know. That way you can wear what you wear. That way you can wear what you wear, baby. We gotta, we gotta have to send you some, a nice t-shirt. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 I would love some. I'll even post on Instagram that I actually like wore. I'll actually wear it out and I'll take it. I'll take a picture on that's Instagram. Cool. That's what, what's up. What, what? That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but seriously, seriously. Uh, let's jump into everything. I'm loving what you guys have. Um, I'm loving all this. I wanted to firstly kind of jump into because you guys got a lot going on because you're married. You got an album. Yeah, you got a clothing brand, your talk show, you got all of that going on, which I'm I'm very like shocked and also not surprised that you guys can handle all of that with everything going on. Like wow, like like that's pretty shocking. You can do all of that in a in a difficult time in life. So wow. That I just wanted to just jump we, out. we're not even talking about parenting okay. with you know, we actually have a family that we're raising. We have children, so it's like we knocking all these things out the ballpark while still being hands on parents. The key, and the key to uh, the key to doing a lot is managing your time well. You know, that's fast. We got uh, twenty four hours in a day, and we try to use all the twenty four hours, all of it. Yeah, so you got to make fun. use of your time. That's the key. Wow. That, that's awesome. That's awesome. I love the And y'all doing a pretty Thank good you. job mansion. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really For cool. sure. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, I wanted to jump into the venture before we get into music. Um, if, you, if you're okay talking about that, that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. All right. So firstly, the audience should know about your clothing brand because I really hope you were not joking about sending me something because I would love to have my audience actually see what they actually look like. Um, I did not get a chance to look at the website, though. I've been busy as fuck over here, so I did not get a chance to actually look and see what it looks like. Um, but first, I just want to jump in and ask this. So your clothing brand is blowing up, I can see it. Um, so what's exactly next for it? What do you have planned next for your clothing brand, Trillionaire? The biggest thing that we're looking at for the Trillionaire now is just to make sure that we get each corner of the world, get them this Trillionaire, this inspiring brand. So we boots on the ground, we, we're traveling around, we, we on tour, we, we touring the world to get the people, get a direct to the people. It's the only company in the world where you're gonna be able to meet the owners of the company and the creators of the brand. That's the difference that we bring in to uh to the fashion world. You know, a lot of people don't know who make Nike or all these other Louis Vuitton, all these other uh brands. You'll never get to meet the owners. Troy and they're here, we out touching people, kissing babies, shaking hands, getting people they merchandise. <laughs> we want to make sure that y'all know us, you know what I mean? Y'all, y'all, you gotta buy something from somebody you trust. You can trust us because you know us, you met us. You we real, we humans, you can touch and feel us. You so, so you know our purpose and our brand, and that's that's what we want to do. We want to show people that we're not above to where oh you can't see us, you gotta buy a ticket to see us. No, we're gonna come touch you. We coming to where you at. 
That's the biggest thing we're right. trading there doing. We coming to where you at, we pulling up on you, and we touching you. We taking a picture with you. We talking to you. We having a conversation with you. We encouraging you. Right. You know what I'm saying? We 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 uh telling you to go back online and follow up and get some of these videos that right. we got that's encouraging because really that's what it's about. It's about spreading love and you know what I mean, everybody different, but Everybody prices, everybody's life prices, and that's what we're trying to show. We're trying to connect this world up, you know what I mean? So that's what we're doing. We out. That's the biggest thing for Trillionaire. We already, like like she said, we was already on the Master P Review show, you know what I mean? So that was a big thing for us. We already got celebrities wearing it, you know what I mean? We got celebrities buying the shoes and got celebrities taking pictures with the, uh, with the shirts and buying the shirts and stuff like that. We already got that. But it ain't all about the celebrities. It's about the people. It's about you and me, the every every average day person. You know, the guy that's working at McDonald's, the guy that's pumping the gas. We want to go take a picture with him. And let him understand that he important as well. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's um, the biggest thing about the brand. We out here trying to really... We yeah, out here, we ain't trying. We out here really, really, really touching the people. You know what I mean? Really touching them. And that's what we, that's what we And doing. thank you to everybody that's been supporting, you know, big shots out to everybody that's been um Over a thousand them. customers yeah. already in the database. Shouts out to each and every one of y'all. We really appreciate it. People understand what we're doing and people understand the movement and people is really, really uh biting gravitating gravitating, gravitating to it. Yeah. To it. So yeah it's a, it's been a it, we've been pretty blessed it's an amazing journey it's it's different from music and it's not merch this is a brand it's a big thing it's it's, it's not merch you know what i mean it's not this is a standalone brand and it means something within itself wow wow well i'm blown away and i love you guys are uh, you built a relationship with the people um that's buying your product at the same time the you're going this relationship with them and and they're like they can trust you and they can trust right. you um with the, with the whole product and money and everything and i love that that's really amazing okay. it's really amazing to know if i encounter you guys and i want to get some of your products i can trust you and we can have that relationship that's that's like really huge Thank you. That's really that's the biggest thing because you you buying stuff and you shipping money off to people that you don't know what they got intentions for, what they want to do with the money. With us, you buying something and trusted people that you know we trying to do the right thing with the money. So you know that's the big thing for us. Yeah, I could definitely I could definitely tell I could definitely tell. I mean, I would certainly love to flash around social media with your marriage. I can. I can brag about it too. I would love to. I would love bragging about this. <laughs> we got you. Say less. We got you. Yes. <laughs> I can even brag to my friend, and he barely has clothes. I can. I, I can definitely have bragging rights. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but seriously, um, but I will get bragging rights though. That will Everybody happen. needs bragging rights. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes nothing you gotta wrong. flaunt it. You know, sometimes you gotta flaunt it. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I keep saying to people, and yet they keep like pushing back. It's like, like just embrace it. It's okay. Well, you know, some people are afraid to be themselves, and that's the one thing. You know, you gotta walk in your purpose. You gotta be true to yourself unapologetically. And that's the thing about me and my husband, you know, that's why we inspire so many because, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you, you, this isn't the game for you. Y'all married. Oh, y'all shouldn't act like that. Talk like that. But our whole lives, we've been ourselves and that's all we know how to be. That's all I know how to be. So I think that is big and I encourage everyone, you know what I'm saying? Be yourself. If you out of the box and you, you want to be the hot topic and you want to flaunt it, <laughs> flaunt it. <laughs> you feel me? Flaunt it. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, uh, that's that's what's up. That's one hundred percent, one hundred. And if you actually do send it, um, we're gonna I'm send wrong. it. Stop saying. See, this is the relationship of trust that we have to build today. Okay, you're gonna get your shirt, and boom. We all we ask is, I want to see if you follow through and actually hashtag it, actually do your part on social media. You know, that's what we ask. That's all. 
You got me. All right. Fine. Fine. I will stop saying that and I'll carry on. <laughs> I'll stop. Oh, you your address after this. So you have to do send this over that. We got you. We got you. All right. Yeah, sure. I will. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No worries. All right. Um, let's jump into all the other ventures. Now, you guys also. Um, I see you guys have been also in a movie. Um, uh, it's called, I think it's called the ANC the Movement. Um, is, yes. that, is that the name of the movie y'all were in? Yeah, you're yes. right. That's yes. a documentary. You're that's right. doc that's yep. a documentary on how our company was birthed and mm -hmm. how everything. We put that out ourselves. We uh, not just in the movie, we produced the movie. So it was on. It was on Amazon Prime for a few years and. That was that was really like the beginning of ANC. That's the company all in committee. That's our actually our company. Oh. And then from the documentary, just to tell you a little bit more, also as far as acting, since we're talking about acting, um, we've actually been in films. Uh, T. Vix he played a star role in Rhyme Slayer. Um, I had a small role, but I also played my uh, role as well. And Rhyme uh, Slayer. Rhyme Slayer, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's available on Tubi It's available right now. on Tubi, yep. Check yeah. it out. It's a horror. So Rhyme hip -hop Slayer, horror movie. it's a hip-hop horror movie. It's really nothing like this that I've seen. Right, right. And I can't tell you about it. You have to watch yeah, it. You see it directed by Jay Star. And it was a great movie. And uh, yeah, it's on Tubi, so you can watch it. You can watch it on Tubi. And ANC the Movement was a documentary we was doing and it was really a good one. It'll be available on allinradio.com here soon. You know what I mean? So it'll be available on there. You can get it on there. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Look at all the stuff you're doing. I didn't even know you guys even did acting. Oh my God. I had the I had the load. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I had to fill you in. I have to tell you things so you tell you these things so that you know what's going on with T Vix and Ms. Dean and why you have to keep up with us. Yeah, we're a very interesting couple. We always doing something. You know, we just believe if we dream it, we gotta wake up and do it. That's how we do it. You know, you dream something, you wake up and make your dreams come true. That's the key. Yeah. yeah okay. Or don't wait to go to sleep to dream. Ooh. Y'all gonna have to write that down. That's a, that that sounds like something. That, ah. <laughs> don't oh. wait to go to sleep to drink. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, you, you can make your life a dream. Yeah. You just dropped a truth bomb. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You can't just drop one like that. This is your first time here. Come on. You got to get ready for me. It's going to be a lot of truth going on today. You got to get ready. You got to get the mic spiced up. Because you never know with Miss Dean. I'm going to tell you a lot of real. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I should have prepared more. Uh, oh, my God. I did not know I was going to get into this. OK. I see you, Miss Dean. I see you. I'm gonna have a kid. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on you. <laughs> Just now, I have a close eye. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh oh. <laughs> uh, but seriously, um, God. Now I want to also jump into music because that's what we're here for. Um. That's yes. what the main drive of the show is. Um, and I get to trick people with the name title. So that's good. So that's also a plus. A huge plus. Now, you have made it very clear that you guys are the first married couple to create an album of hip, um, in hip hop history. That's, that's major. Like, I don't know if the audience like knows, but that's major that have a married couple actually make an album together um that's like huge like like it's not just it's not just um running being the it's not like being the first black to run a race it's like that's like very huge that's like very big <laughs> thank you i appreciate it. 
Yeah, of course, of course. And I want to know from you both, um, because everybody else out there, they're freaking out about it, but how is it being, how is it to you? Like, how are you feeling about it? Like, how is it being the first married couple to create an album of hip-hop history? How do you guys feel? How are you taking this all in? How are you feeling about having that title in your life and in your name? It's a crazy thing. It's a crazy feeling, but it's a great feeling. When, when I was a young kid, I always wanted to be married first. And then I wanted to do music, and I was told by a family member that was helping me with my music that you can never be married and do music at the same time. And I wonder, I said, why? This is crazy. Why can't you do this? Yeah, I just don't work like that. So the thing about it is the way we was raised, and my mother raised me, you can do whatever you want. It's your life. Yeah. Life is what you make it. So we, uh, it's good for us to... Uh, break down the barriers so other people encourage other people that you know you don't have to hide your wife you don't have to hide your husband you don't have to hide anything you can just be you unapologetically and uh make music and it's okay and uh so be a part of knocking down the barriers i think this generation is knocking down a lot of barriers and it's good that we ain't forget about that one. And, it, and me and Miss Dean was able to knock it down. So I really feel great about it. You know, you get all kind of positive and negative in this world, no matter what you do, you know, but I think the uh, positives on this outweigh the negative. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that's like powerful advice too. And I noticed that in musicians that are over 18, they're, Oh, they're married, a lot of them. I know they're married. They just, I guess, they're just a little afraid um, to try and to just go along with the guy that told you not to. I wanted to let you know that you're not the only one. I've also been told I could not do things. I could not do it. Um, but I told them, fuck off. Like, I can do it. So I love right. that. I mean, I, I love that. And I love how you just proved him wrong and if he's watching this and he just heard that you guys are married and you're doing music, like you get to brag. Like, I, have you ever heard really <laughs> like, guess what? I'm married and I'm making music. Like, and you, and you said I couldn't do it. Take a look around, take a look. We doing it and that's the key. Like, you know what I mean? I think people, I think people put limitations on uh, the next generation's life because the limitations that they had in their life. And I think, you know, they put in their fears. Ain't nothing really wrong. Ain't, ain't like the guy was trying to do me wrong. It was just more or less that that's that that was the limitations on him. But see, God created me and he created me different than him. I got to start off at a different point than him. So, you know, I might can do something a little bit greater than what he could do. And that's, that's just the gift that I had got. So, you know, uh, I think a lot of people just be having a fear of what they went through in their life, but they got to know, like, you know, uh, the world is forever evolving and changing. So, you know, uh, you know, this guy, he probably was born in the 50s, so he kind of grew up in the 70s. And, you know, the 70s, you probably couldn't do it, but 2021, you can do it, you know what I mean? Right. So, yep. you know. Times have changed. Yes, you know? yes. Mm-hmm, yes. And people do that, like, they say you can't do something, then they drag that limitation to you, and they want to see it if you carry out the limitation and you can't do it. And then they get surprised when you don't, and you make something beautiful like what you guys have. Thank you. Yeah, of course, of course. And you guys- You gotta check it out also. While we're talking about this, you know, and just breaking barriers. So you have to check it out. You know, you have to check out our album. It's Zamunda, Z-A-M-U-N-D-A. That I have all our songs on there. Our single that we're actually pushing at the moment is Same Chick. Um, Like he was saying, 12 years later, Same Chick. So you gotta check all this stuff out, man. You know, some exciting material. Um, We actually went to Masterpiece uh, Mansion in Calabasas and uh, we played the music for him. That's when we got, you know, the stamp, you know, from the tank. That's when, when we got the approval. And, you know, he just said it was a hit, you know. So it's definitely something to uh, check into, yeah, get especially, familiar with. Especially if you got a guy like Master P that sold over 100 million records. Do you same. know who Master P is? Um, 
I Percy Miller. Bad. Okay, you got to do your homework on him first too, so that way you really know who you're dealing with because he's a he's a huge business mogul. He's an actor. He's an entertainer. Um, he's just an amazing individual that you definitely want to uh, just key in on. And, you know, you might want to do your research on him. So that way you can really know the magnitude of what we're saying as well. You know what I mean? Just so you can really know what's going on. He's definitely somebody to follow and check in with. Yeah, like I said, Master P sold over 100 million records in the entertainment business. Yeah. You got a guy that sold over 100 million records, pick your single and say it's a hit. You really got something going. And, uh, you know, a lot of radio stations is picking the song up now, so we appreciate that. Shouts out to all. Everyone. Can't name them all. It's a lot of them. I wish I could. But uh, thanks for the support. Everybody that's been supporting the same shit. We've been booked nine weeks in a row. You know what I mean? We, you know, so it's, it's great. We want to keep it going, keeping the momentum going. The video will be coming real soon. So, you know, people be people waiting for it. It's coming real soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. And wow, y'all were booked nine weeks wow so a lot of podcasters want to meet you guys wow yeah 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 when you do something historic a lot of people want to meet you because it's historic you know it's a, we live in a historic times you know this this album will be talked about in hip-hop history hip-hop historians forever this would be you know when you go back and you know people you know music is trendy so when you go back and people start Couples, couples, couples keep coming out with albums. They be like, hold up. The first married couple to ever do it, TV from Miss Dean, it'd be all this album I'll always be talked about. And it's know? just truly been a blessing, honestly. Just to have people, you know, tune in and want to key into what we're doing and want and you know, having different podcasts reach out. I mean, it's a, it's been a blessing, man. Yeah, we'd like to thank all the podcasts and all the radios, and all the online radio, and all the FM radios that been supporting this brand. I'm talking about from the big from the big fish, Master P, to the small guy that doing a podcast out of his bedroom. We appreciate all the support, you know what I mean? Like, we appreciate all the support from each person that buy the t-shirt, from the teacher to the to the food service, to the to the superstar and the celebrity. I mean, you know, we, like like I said, first- To the Wrap It Out podcast. Right, we believe, <laughs> we believe everybody equal. Everybody just, you know, your job don't make you, you know what I'm saying? I, like we said, we really believe human life is priceless. So we really believe that. So we just love and, and appreciate everybody you know, from all types of walk of life, you know? Thanks. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you guys for supporting me. That's really huge coming from you guys is really huge right right thank you yeah of course of course it's like really huge i'm gonna just take it all in because i feel like crying but i cannot i don't want to do it in front of you guys now mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i can't do it <laughs> well we appreciate that though we appreciate that type of love and support yeah, honestly. we definitely do you know what i mean just, you know don't cry just tell a friend about it you know there you go don't tell cry a friend just tell a friend tell a you know what I mean? You know, that's the key. That's how oh, yeah. this thing grow and get bigger. Yes, yes. I would spend the word. No worries. <laughs> I, I would spend the word. All right. Now, um, more music. Um, God, my, my brain's on fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, now let's talk about the mind state you have when you create your first hit song of Chick. Um, so what kind Thank of mind state were you in when you made the um, when you made that hit single, um, saying Chick? Well, for me, you know, we both probably was in different mind states, but for me, it was like this: this my family, so this represent my family. So I didn't want to make. We wanted to make this album real. We, we didn't want to make it like, you know what I mean? Like just the mushy thing, like this, you know what I mean? Because love it, I, I believe life is 50-50, so you have your ups and downs. So we wanted to show marriage in its true light. And we, but at the same time, I didn't want, I didn't want it to be like a gimmick. This, this really good music. It ain't just a gimmick, it's a really good music. And that was the key. My mindset was like, you know, this is my family. 
and this going this gonna represent us forever and we got to make sure that this is good music because this, this music really timeless i mean the music that we did i mean i mean every song i mean this 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 album is really like a masterpiece and i just wanted to make sure it was like that because you know like i said this ain't never been done but i didn't want it to be a gimmick i wanted it to be it ain't never been done and this is great then that was the key for me. My, my my key was like, let's make A plus music, you know what I mean? And the, the afterthought was, you know, we the first married couple doing this or you know what I mean? It's not, that was the afterthought, you know what I mean? But the, it was like, we didn't know, make good music. Me and her been making music together anyway. And we just never put an album. We've been making music together for, you know, 10 years, you know what I mean? Featuring on songs together and doing stuff. And it's always a good vibe. We, we really, the same way with our talk show and our clothing brand and everything else, you know, a lot of people don't know how to be with people and be with somebody and be married. We just saying like, you know, you can just because you're married, it ain't it ain't just go to the movies and eat popcorn together. You can build clothing brands. Or it ain't a death sentence. Right. You know, a lot of people like yeah. to say, oh, yeah, like my to... life is over. I'm in jail. I'm in prison in right, a relationship. Right. And right. we big on doing fun stuff having together. Having a healthy, happy, right. doing fun some, relationship. Doing some fun stuff together. You know, we work out together. We do a talk show together. We get an album together. We like doing things together. And that's what that's the key. You got to be with somebody that you like being with and doing things with. So I pretty much agree with the headspace. Like, even where I was at mentally, I kind of feel you. Like, I was pretty much in that same space at the time. You know, when we decided to do the album, we just wanted to make the best music out there. Like we really, you know, yeah. we competitive. Really we competitive when it kind of making music. You know, we feel like we take anybody in the verses. So you know, we just want to we want to make good music. That's the key. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yes, yes. I same thing. Same thing. We talk, same thing when you talk about any other business. Like when we do our talk show, we want to make a good show. We don't think about the music. Not, we, we think about our clothes. We didn't think about, oh, this guy represents this, that. No, we want to make good clothes. So we just try to, you know, make things as they come. You know what I mean? Yes, 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 yes. So, as I can tell, y'all want to be at the very top when it comes to any type of venture or business that you guys have. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I mean, I love that. And this is probably the most I've ever had in a very long time, considering that I've done over 100 different kinds of musicians myself. This is probably That's like, how This is probably like the Shout most. Shout out to you. Hold on. Let's not gaze over that. Let's clap yeah. it up for that. Come on. Over 100. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. oh, my God. Congratulations. That's a oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, you guys didn't have to clap for that. I mean, that's just a little um, thing. This year has also been historic because this show also is one year old. It has its birthday um, last, no, wait, it's October. So it's a, it was a month and a half ago um, uh, the podcast turned one years old. So I, I'm officially one year. So that's that's like pretty nice. Okay, we'll shout out to that. Right. Congratulations, that's big news. That's what's up. And I hope that you get a lifetime out of this podcast. You know what I mean? We definitely put our blessings and we just, you know, we happy for you keep pushing. Um, you know, hopefully this podcast is well heads to the top in the direction that you want it to go. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. I do want it to keep going as long as I can. Even making it to like season 10, like like Ellen or like those other talk shows. I want to try and get like to like those kind of like top. Mm-hmm. Don't forget. Now, when you get Ellen status, you better remember T Vix and Miss Ding. Don't start acting Hollywood. All right. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> and y'all better do the same if you guys ever like get to those award shows or like if you guys ever get like top like Grammys. Don't forget about me. <laughs> right. Well, we won't. We won't. We won't. All right. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. All right, let me let me see. Let me throw some more at you, and then y'all get opportunity to uh, throw some more at me. Uh, what inspired you guys to even be in music? What inspired you guys to be musicians yourself? And you know, um, 
make music together as a couple? What inspired you guys to do all that? Well, to be honest, when it came to me, um, for me doing music, it didn't just come automatically. So my mother and father, they went through a divorce. And when they got divorced, I was put in foster care. And I had really bad issues coping with it. So I had to go through anger management because I was having a hard time. I was young and I was having a hard time learning how to express myself. I didn't know how to express myself at all at the time. And so when I was in counseling, it was like, you know, you need to start putting your feelings on paper. Like you need to start expressing yourself, even if you have to write it down. And so for me, learning how to express myself on paper, I started to do poetry because I started to become, you just not just more in tune with myself and my feelings. So I started to get into poetry and then from poetry, it actually turned into hip hop and rap and, you know, music. And when I met my husband, that was when I actually started to like record and really do the music because he heard some of my stuff that I had wrote. And he was like, hold up, you need to drop that. Like you need to put that stuff out. You can't just be holding on to that. And I was like, all right, boom, you know, bet, let's get it done. And so from there, the rest is history. You know, you, you have two musicians. I mean, that's my story. And um, so that's kind of how it came about for me. Yeah, and I'm also an engineer. So it make it easy because I, I mix and master and record all our music. So, you know, that make it easier for us. My, my, uh, I, I come from me, I come from a musical family. So my, my grandfather always made us sing and dance. And as we was kids, you know, we always entered, you know, we did things as a family. So we always had to entertain. So, you know, we just, it was just in me, you know, from doing the Michael Jackson to, you know, me doing talent shows and then, you know, come like 13 and I'm putting on my own shows. I'm renting venues and putting shows together. So, you know, it was nothing by, by you know, 17, 18, putting a label, label together. So, you know, come with a record label and all that stuff and help other artists get to where I was, I was going. I started early, so, you know, it just been, I come from a musical background. So it really wasn't, it really wasn't like, no pain or nothing it was more like this is what I did to celebrate anyway life this was part of life always you know me and my family get together and karaoke or whatever we was gonna do so you know it was always music so that's kind of how I got started oh wow um and T-Vic I respect it um my family is also musically inclined so I definitely felt that I definitely felt that and Miss Dean, I really felt that. I mean, I never really uh, had divorce before, um, but I could feel that. I could feel how you felt. I could. De I definitely took took what you said. I took it in, and I really thought about it and applied to like my own life. And I was like, wow, like that's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, yeah, that's a lot leaning up. I mean. To have that kind of background, knowing that you had plastic and you had to go into management, um, and then like that drop of <laughs> that drop of like blessings came, and now you got this whole life. I mean, for sure, that's, that's like jubilation. That's celebration. That's 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 like it's like huge. <laughs> like thank you. Like like coming from all that, and now you got all this going on. It's like wow. Like it makes you think. Like, like it really makes you think. It really, it really makes you. I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, my thing is like, you never know what you can overcome until you go through it. You know, and then if you go through it, you can be, you know, the champion on the other side. You just got to reach that finish line and it might hurt and it might, you know, cause a lot of pain, but God don't put nothing on you that you can't handle. Yeah, we all we all sources of energy. So, you know, you know, like she she always had good energy, you know, even meeting her first, you know, you wouldn't know the story. You keep your energy up because you don't know who you're touching, you don't know who who you're helping. Sometimes God bless you so you can bless other people too, you know what I mean? So Yeah, because I'm not yeah. damaged. Like yeah. I'm not damaged from my story. I use it as a testimony to inspire others to, yeah, to that, let them know that you can overcome things, but I'm more like I'm I'm settled with it. Right, and that's a good point about it. So I wanted to say that. That's a good point. That's 
because like I said, like I said, we energy and it's, it's somebody that's right now going through a similar story, you know, and they're hearing this, they they tapped into his podcast and they watching and they like, man, you know, this is what I'm going through. But I see somebody else came out the other end. So, you know, like sometimes you watching, you know, they got growing up hip hop on TV now and you watching kids that grew up rich and you like, well, that's the way you got to go. But now nah, you can watch this podcast and see Miss Dean still can do what she want to do and you still can do what you want to do because she she did it and you know she she had to go through what she just told y'all you know so that's the that's the good point about that that's why i love your story too i ain't gonna say that i love it yeah, <laughs> thank you thank you your story yes yes and y'all are inspiring people right now just tuning in y'all already inspiring others already you guys don't even know like look at that thank you that's what it's about and that's why that's why everybody got to buy the trading there where and where this trading there because you know your life is priceless because just like you just don't know it's somebody watching you right now and they and they plug in they they computer up and start their podcast because they see you doing it yeah. like we inspiring so many people we all inspiring other people it's always somebody looking at you like you know even like we left and we did meetings with Master P and I came home and I did consultation for younger artists and they were just like, you know, like, you know, that's cool. You did the Master P. They, they happy, but they're like, you know, you are Master P, you know what I mean? Because you took it far the farthest, you know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, you just, you know, and it was, it was a blessing that they were saying that to me, but you just, you just never know, like, you know, where all of us got to think like that. Even the guy that's, you know what I'm saying? Getting the orders out fast through the drive through and McDonald's. Somebody watching me like, man, you know, I want to be that good at that. You know what I mean? We always inspiring. We want to, we inspiring to be something else, but we also inspiring other people to be what we are too at the same time. Right. Yes, yes. That's definitely, definitely true. And I've actually seen it, I actually seen it happen. My friends actually started their own shows and they said because of me, like, that's like yeah. whenever they say that yeah. yeah it is that's inspiring you inspiring people and sometimes we got to learn how to take that too because you know not being a, you know some some of us you know just live a regular life but we ain't used to the celebrity status and you gotta that's the thing you gotta deal with you know other people you know inspiring to be you you'd be like why don't you just be you like nah man i want to be you i want to do what you're doing I mean, it's all good though you know what i'm saying like you know you ain't never seen uh the owner of burger king and mcdonald's fighting but it's always one next to each other and they selling the same thing burger and fries you know that's what i was gonna say too yeah like we definitely some people not everyone um it could be challenging like you said to allow people to tap into that market when you're doing it like you have to be open and accept it especially when you're calling for such a high role like you know look at all the people we look up to what if your favorite podcaster or like you said ellen if she was like i don't want y'all to be like me stop copying off of me you know crush a lot of people's dreams so <laughs> you know we have to keep that same idea you know what i mean yeah you got to keep that same idea or if we went to master p and he was like what is y'all doing? I don't want y'all to rap. Y'all know I'm the coldest rapper. It's like, dang, you know, it, it would kind of break a person's heart. So we always got to be mindful that, you know, everybody's going through something. And sometimes that may be their lifesaver. That may be all they have, you know, the inspiration from others to push and do something they need to do and want to do. Yeah. Right. Yes. yes, and I've actually seen it happen. I've actually seen it happen. I can see how with my own eyes and it, it did it did like it felt like wow it's like I actually felt that person's like pain whenever their heart got crushed in front of everybody mm -hmm. like wow like it really makes mm -hmm. you think yeah you know what that should be that should be your slogan it really makes you think you should turn that into something <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, for because he said it. He should say it. Like you should say that. That's that's a good one. Oh, really? Yeah, I would do something with that if I was you. I'm okay. just giving you some game on the podcast. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna definitely try and see if I can get it as a slogan. Oh, that'd be so clever. And I always wanted to get merch. I just didn't know how. That could be nice when like have the logo of the show and then have a. Yeah, it makes you think. Like, 
that's kind of a piece of that, that it makes you think like what are what are you talking about what makes you think and it kind of makes me want to jump into the topic you know to get my mind going i definitely think that would be kind of dope right yeah, you, you find the right people to make merchandise ah uh, so we i definitely wanted to try people has been bugging me for months about even getting clothes mm -hmm. people has been bugging me about it but it fits perfectly because the name actually tricks people. People do not know that, but the name's meant to trick you. Yeah. You do not know that, but when I hit people up, they think the show is just for rappers because they have the word rap in it. Um, yeah. And then when they tune in later um, and they see that one of the interviews I did with a singer or um, with a country artist, they're like, Damn it, that guy tricked me. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. And I saw that on your page. You had a country singer, and then I think you had a uh, you had another singer on there. You had a couple of singers on there, but I did see that. Yeah. You kind of threw me off. So that was that is you ain't lying. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. <laughs> and that's like so clever. Like, and then people get like so surprised. Like, I will never forget that time that person said, is this show just for a rap? And then like, I posted, like I put in the DM, like a link to my interviews. Then he texts back with a shock emoji and that shit, like, <laughs> I was on the floor crying. It was like. <laughs> that was a, that was an accomplishment. And so, you know, just, the biggest thing is just understanding those accomplishments and those things that make you go, ah, oh, or, you know, with, you know, just make you feel good. But the things that, that make you think. And make you think. And that's why we always encourage y'all. You know what I'm saying? If you like that type of music or if you like that type of, uh, if you into that type of stuff, y'all got to rock with t Vix and Miss Dean. Y'all got to check out the album. Y'all got to do the research on us and our journey, you know? Because a lot of people are like, well, a lot of things that we do make people think. Like, even when we first tapped in with Judy, it's like, well, I don't know how y'all do that. You know, and it makes you wonder, how are they getting all this stuff done? And we still have so much more to accomplish. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's so, There's so much more to come. Just yes. stand by. Yes, 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 yes. So check out Zamunda. Check out Official Trillionaire. Check out the song. Uh, same chick and then also you can follow us up on IG uh, my IG is Miss Dean Music his IG is T Vix and then you can also follow us at Official Trillionaire that's where you can cop all the merch you can look at the merch um, and then or the clothing from the shoes to the hats you know just different type of apparel and then also you can follow us on um, Facebook which is at a uh, tap in with T Vix and Miss Dean and that's where you can go live with us and interact with us on our show as well. Yeah, and you can go, every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. And you can go uh like and subscribe at Tap In with T Vix and Miss Dean on YouTube. And I'm encouraging everybody to follow each platform that way that way you get the update. You know what I mean? And turn on your notifications. Make sure you uh turn on your notifications so you can get the update so you can get it quick. Cause we always giving things away. We always got giveaways. We always got some kind of discount code. So make sure you just follow up with everything, you know, send an email in, get on the email list, you know, just stay connected any kind of way that you can stay connected with us because we really moving forward. Uh, yes, yes, yes. 100%. Y'all do that. And I and I did it. Um, I actually did what you guys were talking. I actually did on my Insta. He did. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, shit. Um, oh, yeah, right. Now, I want to know generally as musicians, like, I want to exactly get into um, how you do music. Because right now, people don't know that. And tell them about your energy, like, we should know. So, I don't know, like, what is your general music process? How songwriting, you know, music production, how does that all come in play into making a hit song? Well, for us, for us, we work with multiple producers all over the world. People send us music, and uh, we make beats ourselves, too. But 
when you're making a beat, we just making beats at that time. You know, when we uh, collecting beats, we like to ride and vibe to it and, you know, just come up with concepts right off the top of the head. If it sounds good to us, then, you know, we go to the studio and record it. Then we, you know, we write our lyrics and put the lyrics down and, you know, go into the mixing and mastering. And that's the whole process. It really ain't, you know, it ain't really much to it, but to do it when you season like us, you know, we just kind of just put the beat on, vibe to it, come up with the songs that's come to us, you know, it's it's really our purpose we living in. I, I believe we don't really write them. I believe that God sent us these songs in a way to communicate with the public, you know what I mean? So that's kind of what, what happens, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. And I truly believe that uh, God did give you the give it the song. He did give it to you. It's like he wanted you to make that and he gave it to you. Right. Right. It's lovely. It's been a lovely interview. Yes. And did I cut you guys off? I'm sorry. I have a tendency. Oh, no. You're good. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Cool. I'm sorry. People say I have a tendency of doing this. I just want to make sure. Great. Great interviewer. Can't complain. (laughs) <laughs> and what's hilarious is that that's why I put on my TikTok at the first video the rumors are true it's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious and I actually put the song rumors uh, in the background and <laughs> they said the rumors are true like that's it is hilarious <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious <laughs> That cracks me up every time. All right, now it's time for a deep, um, a deep question. I ask this to everybody because some people have different answers than others. Um, so I want to know um, how would you, guys, artists, generally describe your music? My music is more like an open book. As far as for me, I feel like I'm an open book. Um, and then honestly, I go off vibes. So wherever the world is at, I kind of pump out good music, you know, I may, or if I'm going through something, I pump out the type of music that, you know, portrays my feelings. So it's really broad, you know, it's, I have, I've, I've pretty much open, but my music is a reflection of my life. So you looking in the mirror, this was going on. I'm, I'm a really a reporter. So if you take the music from you know, back when I first started all the way up to now, you just really getting a, a detailed report about what's going on in my life and what's going on in the world around me. So, you know, I'm a musician, but I'm also a reporter because I'm reporting on what's going on in the world, you know? That's what, that's that's really what my music is about. And, you know, and it's a good lyrics, good beats, and, you know, good concepts, but I'm just putting my mind on it. You know, you get a little little bit of TV. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I love that you guys are real with your music. Like, you guys are open and real about your music. That's really huge. Yeah, because music is therapeutic, too. So, you know, sometimes, you know, like she was saying, you know, I do it the same way. When I go through something, I get in a booth and, you know, that's my therapy session. But, you know, I'm my own therapist. So, you know, it's like, I ain't got to sit and think with somebody. I, I can sit with myself and say it and put it together and then boom, it's therapy. You know, it's out. I, I let it out. Wow. That's really dope, you guys. That's really dope. That's really awesome. And I'm just taking this all in. I'm just, it's just a lot you're giving me, so I'm just taking it all in <laughs> one at a time. Yeah, I'm trying to give it all to you. You you got a lot of questions, so we trying to you know get to the end. That we got another we got another a time. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh wow, look at that, y'all busy today, huh? Yeah, we busy today. So we trying to get it. I understand, I understand. Don't worry, don't worry. I get y'all as soon as possible. Uh, God. Now you guys will get a chance to, for the audience to get to hear a little bit of y'all's music because 
y'all need to like give some proof you know they the audience needs proof from you that you guys are really what you say you are so <laughs> you know um do you have anything you like to say anything about your showcase later um anything well you know the proof in the pudding we can play the music right now if they want to hear it we are actually going to play you guys a clip of our single that we're pushing right now, which is Same Chick off of the Zamunda album. I know y'all been hearing me talk about it a lot, but so this is what we're going to play for y'all. And then we can go from there, you know. Let's go. Let's get it. 12 years later, I've been fucking with the same bitch. What? 12 years later, I've been fucking with the same bitch. Y'all blew me away. Oh, wow. <laughs> we love that. Hold on. You know what? Hold on. Let me hold on. I want you, I want, I want you to give me your opinion on it. Just as of if you're talking to me and you you just heard it. Oh. Go ahead. Same chick. What you thought about it? Oh, you want my opinion on the song? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Honestly, though, um, it was amazing to me. Um, I especially love the production. Um, it was amazing to me. Uh, I'm truly blown away by um, just everything about it. It's amazing. Um, I really can't say much. Y'all blew me away. And oh, thank you. We appreciate that. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thank of course. You. Of course. And I want you guys to know that blowing me away is a one of a kind thing that you can do. So don't make that mark. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's that's Y'all made, made it. Uh and we made it. Hard. We made it, baby. We made it. <laughs> yes. yes. And it's really hard to blow me away like that. I mean, I can say that I like your music, but when you blow me away, it's like you can only get that feeling, um, you can only get that feeling um, a few times. I'll only do it a few times. Only. Okay. Times. Well, we're glad to be, we're glad to be able to give you that. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Um, now, I was going to do like a switch interview, but I know you guys have got a lot going on, um, so I won't do it unless you have time for it, but I won't. Okay, well, we appreciate it. We definitely appreciate this platform, and we appreciate the love, and you know, just reaching out and 
getting us on here and we're excited um you know tell a friend you know let them know about what we're doing let them know about same chick and everybody that listens you know we appreciate every listener every supporter every follower check us out once again you can cop some um some trillionaire at official trillionaire y'all can follow us miss dean music t vix official trillionaire those are the igs and you can also follow us on facebook at tap in with t vix and miss dean yeah yes 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 everybody please do so if you're not then you're basically losers if you're not <laughs> right <laughs> you better tell them <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm telling them. Hell yeah. And oh my God, you guys blew me away today. I really do appreciate you guys for being here. You guys have made my entire day. Um, today I was going to sleep in, you know, but you know what? Um, I'm going to do it. Like, and y'all blew me away. I mean, this is like above what I thought this was going to be. And y'all blew me away. So thank you both so much for taking the time out of your day, your Sunday to do this. I mean, you guys are so incredible. Both of you guys are so incredible and amazing. And yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. We appreciate that as well. We appreciate that. We receive all of that. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll be here for you soon. Yeah. We can get you your stuff. We'll get you your shirt, man. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna send my information over. No worries about that. No worries. All right. Um, my God. Y'all have already said a lot today, but um, do you guys have anything else you want to say to your audience, to the fans out there before, you know, this cuts off? Anything? Well, I guess we pretty much summed it up. You know, just make sure y'all stream the music. Make sure y'all check us out. Um, don't, you know, don't be a stranger. Feel free to hit us up. Um, and that's we pretty real much people, it. y'all talk, we talk back. We on social media, so we can be social. And yeah. that's it. That's, that's it. the wrap-up. That's, that's wrap <laughs> oh, clever. <laughs> clever. That's a wrap. I'm going to do that on my next interview. I'm going to say, that's a wrap-up. Yes. <laughs> I'm a definitely. <laughs> See, we, we coming up with things. We be creating things on this uh, podcast. So yes. Yes. You guys clearly did. Yes. <laughs> yes, you guys did. I'm going to definitely do that. I will most definitely do that. 100%. All right. We're going to stay in touch, man. Yeah. We appreciate you. Yes, of course. Of course. You guys made my entire day. Thank you. Uh, guys, a little reminder. Make sure to check out T-Vix and Ms. Dean on all their social media pages. Um, make sure to follow up on their a uh, clothing brand and their talk show and get some balls going you know support support them they're really worth listening to um you could tell by their interview today like they have like the most energy this is the most i've ever seen like i don't know if i've ever seen anything close to this big <laughs> <laughs> right right we appreciate that we appreciate that Yes, of course. I don't know this, how. And, and remember, this is only the beginning. It's going to get bigger. Yes, yes. Now, you can bet your life that it'll be, it'll be more stuff coming up. Y'all stay in touch. I mean, I'm on Insta all the time. So, believe you me, um, more stuff will be coming. All right. Well, we talk to you later, man. Good um, hearing. Good hearing from you. All right. Oh, thanks, you guys. Thank you. I know you guys got to head off, um, but thank you both so much for being here. You guys have made my whole day. I know I keep saying that, but I'm for real. Y'all made my day. Um, you guys are so amazing, and yeah, with me in touch, I already followed y'all everywhere, so you guys have my support, and I'll send over my information after this is finished. That sounds great. That sounds great. We can't wait to hear from you. Awesome, awesome. Same to you. All righty. All righty. What was that? Uh, are we finished? Are we wrapping it up? Or is this the wrap up? <laughs> um, yeah, you guys make sure. Follow I don't want to cut you off. I don't want to cut you off. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Don't worry. You are all right at this point. At this point, you're all right. 
Make sure you guys check them out. We're everywhere on Wrap It All Podcast. If you don't check them out, you guys suck a dick. You guys are losers. If you're not checking out all the information, all of it, and not just what I provide, all of it. <laughs> all of it. I, I, I'm keeping a close eye on everyone. I'm going to keep a close eye. We could close up. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can do it now. That is a wrap up. See you guys um, on the next one I do. And don't be losers and not check them out. Check them out, guys. And peace.